Hey everyone, Chuck Bailey with the Base Channel here, and today we will be checking out the Lynn Keller model Michael Tobias Design MTD 32 inch scale uh, 5 string. Stick around. By the way, if you're new here, make sure and like and subscribe this video if you dig it and uh, hit the notifications button uh, on this side, I believe it is, the bell, and that way you don't ever miss my uh, beautifully, uh, wonderfully groomed face. This is the uh, Michael Tobias Design 32 inch scale Lynn Keller model uh, five string bass. It is, believe it or not, strung B to G. I know what you're thinking, short scale, low B, those don't go in the same sentence, right? Not true. This low B holds up tremendously well. I'm telling you, it surprised the heck out of me. Uh, check this out. Bring it back again. Let's get into the specs of the Lynn Keller model. This specific model is a poplar body. It's painted matte black. It's got a maple neck and an Indian rosewood board. The pickups are a uh, Bartolini Jazz five string set. 59 CBJDO is the model, I believe. And it's a Bartolini three band preamp. Pretty easy controls here. You have the uh, blend, volume, treble, mids, bass, and then a three position mid switch and I believe it's 250, 400, and 800 hertz. Hip shot style bridge and uh, hip shot style tuners as well. I think that's everything. God, this bass sounds good, it plays good. I'm gonna set the bass up, or I have, I should say, already set it up to like where I found kind of the sweet spot that I really liked, a nice balance of what the controls offer, what that mids position switch offers, and uh, we'll check it out. the controls up where we're gonna run uh, the blend all the way back on the bridge we're gonna give uh, a lot more mids back to the treble all the way off and give it just a little bit of bass we're gonna stay in the 400s position on the mid on the mid switch <laughs> All right, now we're gonna run uh, the neck pickup all the way forward. We're gonna boost the uh, mids and we're running it on the 800s position switch. It's got a real nice fat tone. I think you'll like it. Thank you. 
Again, this is 32 inch scale. Uh, they make, uh, there's a big misconception with Michael Tobias Design that they only make 35 inch scales from some of their models. Not true. Uh, they have it all the way down to as much as a six string base that's 30 inch scale all the way up to 35. They might be able to make larger than that, but I think 35 is probably about as, as far as most of those models go. For this particular model, the Lynn Keller, it comes in 32 inch, I believe is a standard. Uh, this again is strong B2G and uh, 24 frets, believe it or not, 24 frets. <laughs> I want to go into like specific breakdowns of each control again it's uh, if you missed it and you don't want to bring the video all the way back I'll go over it real quick again blend volume treble mids bass three position mid switch we're gonna start with everything still at 12 o'clock not making any changes center indent and we're gonna start messing with the treble so you can hear the differences in those tones so here it is at center indent flat nice right let's let's bring it back a little bit we're gonna bring it all the way back we'll go to the extreme and then we'll kind of work our way around Okay, now that the treble's done, we're gonna uh, spend a little more time with the mids. Uh, I have the mids position switch at 250. We're gonna boost the mids all the way up and then back it off a hair so we can get, uh, well, you'll see. Now we're gonna move to 400. We're gonna leave the uh, mids boosted just where they were. I'm gonna go do that one once. Notice the difference? We're gonna, uh, now I think we're at 800, right? Yeah, 800. Let's bring it back down to the 250. I'm gonna take the mids the other way, so they'll be cut quite a bit. You'll hear the same thing. Same riff, excuse me. Okay, mid's done. Now we're gonna focus on the uh, the bass knob here. I'm gonna give you a note for comparison. Now we're gonna roll the bass same way, almost all the way up, back it off just a hair, and play that same riff. All 
right, now that we ran through everything as far as uh, treble mids bass parts concerned, let's talk about the blend knob. The blend knob we're gonna keep, it's been at center indent this whole time, so we're gonna uh, play something there again, just for reference, and we're gonna roll it all the way back for that bridge tone, roll it all the way forward for that neck tone, you be the judge. Let us know in the comments which one you like best. Here we go. Okay, that was the blend on the center. Now we're going to roll it back to that bridge, play the same riff. Okay, let's roll it all the way forward now. So if, if anyone's not familiar with Michael Tobias design, you know, they're, uh, they're not, hmm, how do I put this? There's a specific kind of like genre association with these basses. Uh, a lot of gospel players, you got people like Andrew Goucher, you have people like Bobby Lewis, who is a monster player. I don't, he's not just gospel, he does gospel, but I mean, he plays all kinds of other music. But, you know, one of the things that it's, it's never really equated to like a rock bass or or uh, you know a country bass or anything like that. You have people that play country that use MTD though. Brian Allen, tremendous musician, uses MTD, kind of bringing things into that forefront. But you know, for the most part, a lot of those people in the beginning were uh, were primarily gospel players. But you can get a lot of great tones out of these basses, especially the short scale, which again kind of surprised me. Um, that it complements well for rock and and it handles dirt pedals, drive pedals. So with that said, let's dial in some distortion on the Dark Glass Microtubes 900. That about wraps it up. Uh, I wanted to, uh, again, you know, get final thoughts as far as this bass goes. Yeah, again, this was my first introduction with uh, with MTD's short scale model, the Lynn Keller. And you know, when you go to NAMM and stuff like that, or if you haven't gone to NAMM, or you go to Guitar Center or whatever, you play a bass and you've seen videos and you've seen reviews and you know, it, you're just quite not, you're not quite sure, right? Um, I, getting to play this somewhere like NAMM, if you guys have been to NAMM, it's, it's it's insane to try and hear anything that you'd like or dislike. It could feel good. You might tell yourself it sounds good. You might even have actually had a moment where it was quiet enough for you to actually hear it and it did sound good. Um, hopefully this video gives you a little more insight into that. To me, final thoughts on this short scale is I think it's rad. Um, MTD, uh, I, I own two of their uh, different models. I own the uh, Saratoga and I own their kind of flagship model. Uh, mine's a 534. They make primarily 535s, but again, they can make any scale length. Um, this bass, what's great about this bass is one, it's a jazz bass. I don't have an MTD jazz bass, so I got to kind of experience um, MTD's uh, jazz, uh, jazz bass along with a short scale, and I, I really dug it. Uh, as far as how it sits side by side to the Saratoga and the 534, um, with, it's cool because it's different, right? Like the bass sounds completely different from the other two MTDs that I own, uh, which is probably terrible because I'm gonna have to buy one now. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, it has a tone kind of all its own, a feel uh, that's really comfortable as far as like, um, well, the neck goes, because if you're not used to playing short scales and you've been playing 34 inch, 
if you guys play mostly four strings and you're you, you know that jump to a five string sometimes that 35 inch scale can be really overwhelming and uh, if you're looking for a nice kind of segue bass it's going to ease you into the differences of those scale lengths and not feel uncomfortable this is definitely one that you should look at uh, as far as i know they don't have uh their uh overseas models they, they make a, a brand called Kingston I don't think they have a Link Keller version of that so if you were looking to do a short scale it would have to be custom you know the controls are really easy the layouts nice uh, the neck feels great uh, and again if you're if you're a jazz jazz pickup kind of uh, enthusiast this has all the bells and whistles and it sounds fantastic all right, guys, that does it for me. I hope this video uh, brings you much joy. Uh, it, this was especially fun to make. This Link Keller model was uh, was really awesome. Thank you to Michael Tobias Design for letting us do this demo. If you guys enjoyed the demo or you liked it, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell. And until next time, continue to be a low life such as myself. See you soon. So we'll ride.